Hello, and welcome to my channel. In this video I show how to share printer with other computers in Windows 11. In Windows 11, as in Windows 10, you can share a printer connected to your computer via a USB cable, so that you can print from other computers on the same network. If you have a network printer, you do not need to share it on a computer because you can connect directly to the printer from other computers. In the video I explain how to share the printer that works via a USB cable. Before starting the steps of setting up and sharing the printer, make sure that the printer driver is installed, and the printer can print on the main computer, which is the computer to which the printer is connected directly. Also, make sure all the computers you want to print from are connected to the same network or router. After making sure of this, we start with the steps, which is to open the start menu, and from it open the settings. After opening the settings, click on Bluetooth and devices, from the left menu. And then, click printers and scanners on the right. Then, select the printer you want to share from the list of available printers, and click on it. After selecting the printer to be shared, you will see more than one choice, click on printer properties. From the printer properties window, click the sharing tab. Then, in printer sharing options, check the box next to share this printer. Then, in the share name box, type the share name that other computers will see, when you want to connect to the printer. I will suggest you to use the word, denotes the printer, as you may have more than one printer. When finished, click the apply button, then OK. You are now finished configuring the printer to share it with other computers, on your network. Meaning that the printer is ready, it has been shared, and any device on the same network can access it and print. This is the first step, as you will not be able to print to a printer that works with a USB cable without sharing it. Before going to another computer, and connecting to the printer from it, it is necessary to know the name, of the main computer to which a printer is connected directly. To find out the name of a computer, open the Start menu, and then open Settings. Then, click on System from the left menu, then scroll down and click on About. You can get the computer name now. In Device Name field, you will find the name of the computer. Keep the name well, because you will need it when adjusting the settings of the shared printer, on other devices. Now everything is ready. We will move with you to another computer, to explain how to connect to a shared printer in Windows 11. This is the second step. Let's go! After knowing the name of the printer, and the name of the main computer to which the printer is connected. Before starting the steps to connect to the printer, make sure your primary computer is running with the shared printer and printer. Open the Start menu, and from there open Settings. Then, Click on Bluetooth and Devices on the left, and then click Printers and Scanners on the right. Next to it you will find Add a Printer or Scanner. Click the Add Device button, wait a few seconds, and when you see message that the printer I want is not listed, click the Add Manually button. At Find a Printer by Other Options window, Choose select a shared printer by name and then type the primary computer name, and the shared name of the printer. Before you write, look at the bottom, as it defines a writing format for you. Follow the existing format to reach the path of the shared printer easily. If you do not follow the specified format, you will not be able to find the shared printer. Once you type the computer name in the format you selected, it will show you the shared printers, select the printer you want. And if you do not see the name of the printer, you type it with the name that we wrote while sharing the printer. Then, click the next button, after which it will ask you to type a name for the printer on your device. Type the name you want or leave it as it is, and then click the next button, and finally, click on the finish button. Sometimes you may be asked to enter the username and password for the primary computer. You can now print on the printer, without any restrictions simple and easy steps for any user i hope the video is useful to you thank you for watching and i hope subscribe to my channel thank you all